Okay, so new update, new maps. Let's get her done. Maze Runners is up. So we're, let's give it a shot. And this is part of the Extreme Rescues Part 2. So, oops, excuse me. So it's going to be one of those, uh, you got to move really quick, but very methodic. By the looks of it, it looks like it's going to be a big map too. So we'll see. But first try, haven't done it yet. want to have a look-see. So, yeah. So this is the map. Already, I feel sorry for myself. There's all this uh, real estate that I can't account for right behind the description of the of the objectives. But in that sense, is a troops, hostages, must survive. So I have to rescue them. And there's a, the option of eliminating everybody there that's uh, not with us. Starting off on the east, I mean on the west wing, <clears throat> we're looking at guardhouse. It's a little bit, uh, <laughs> that sucks, just starting off. Um, but we want to clear all this area first. So I'm probably going to bring a camera on this side and make sure that everything's kosher on this side before I make any commitment of going inside. Mm, oh, it's glass doors on that too. So we're going to have a nice little birds, you know, a little bit of a peek with a camera here. Might not get that corridor, but I... Intent on using the windows to the left of that room to clear that corridor as the main force kind of makes entry into it. Camera guy there. So he's probably prepping up for an execution. I don't know yet. Um, but it's a live feed, so there's that corner-fed room right there that's uh, also feeding this weird like auditorium type of, like a meeting hall. More glass to the south of us. So as soon as we make entry into this room, we're not just exposed with what's inside that room, but what's outside in that courtyard. So we, oh, so, you know, let's be advised. Huh? Wow, that's just long. It's like corridors galore, all types of tubular rooms and crappy cover because the angles are kind of funny. The bends on the rooms are just not, they're not always at 90 degrees. They're all 45 bends or for the most part. Or most cases, more than I'm comfortable with. But uh, I'm going to insert two guys up there because they're gonna, we're going to need help from every angle. So I'm going to start with that. But it's going to be kind of like the scalpel to my hammer. So probably going to throw in some suppressed units there with uh, some cameras, little peeking utensils and a lot of flashbangs and smoke. They're going to need all the help they can get without the risk of injuring or hurting or killing the hostages. So no frags on that side for sure. Mm -hmm. And a lot of windows. So we'll be able to get a few rooms cleared or, or eyes on before we ever go in there. Good to know. Uh, still thinking, still thinking. So that's a concern of mine right there because if they're already feeding live, he must be nearby the hostages, which means probably explains why we're starting off on this side with the biggest force or the, 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 the bigger portion of the eight units. So we might have to go hard on this side, just rapid guns blazing with little regard for our own safety type of deal. And on this side, we can be a little bit more methodic. So I'm going to put my best guys here, my best assault. Uh, units are going to be up here. So, starting with, is it Bailey? Or Daily? I don't know. <clears throat> and I'm going to customize them, put some MP5s, at, like the SD versions. So, suppress weapons. Mm, and uh, gonna, let's jack up their ammo a little bit too. Let's do that. Put a, not an ACOG, but a, maybe an EOTech. Yeah, let's do an EOTech. I don't feel like buying anything right now. So EOTech, looking at the stats here. Yeah, EOTech it is. Let's do EOTech. <clears throat> and, um, oops. Okay, let's put them in there. Affirmative. Um, you know what, let's do uh, the M9s as well. Let's get that going. And probably beef up their plate. Mm, that sucks. Let's beef up their plate too. Let's throw them in. The, let's throw them in on the deck. Okay. 
Yeah, I forgot about these. Okay. Um, beef up their armor, like I said, but we probably have to get eyes. On. Oh, he already has it. Okay, so remove the frags. Let's put some smoke instead. Let's do that. Do some smoke. Copy that because it's a main template. And let's see how they differ. That looks good. Maybe more. Let's do more bangers. No, I don't like that. But maybe we'll need it. I don't know yet. I don't want the um, the slab charges too much. We might need flashbangs. Okay. Um, but, uh, okay. I don't like I'm it. But it. I, I want to keep it well balanced as well. Moving on to this side. This seems like an easier approach because everybody's going to go loud. We're just going to set them up with... Um, like the M4 variants. And I want to put a support unit as well as a marksman in there, in that mix. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Those look good. There's a few frags. All of them have frags, okay. I need a wall charge for sure. He needs more target acquisition. Another EOTech perhaps. That's too much. I don't want to buy anything yet. And, oh, crap. Okay, so that's all you get for upgrades, buddy. Good luck to you. No, no, I changed his name. Um, I don't need you. Uh, I don't need you. I should leave him with the wall charge, but... Because he's going to be at the rear, right? So they can hold cover while he sets up the, the wall. We can do that. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's put him in there. Let's get Jack in there. So, no, on the other side. Let's go on the other side instead. I don't want him there. I want him here. Welcome. Separate from the from the from the assaults, so I can tell him apart from from you know from far away. Uh, let's get the marksman ready real quick. Let's do that. Welcome. Put him in there and let's customize him. You know what? Let's let's customize the assaults. There's a lot of them, and I want to make it. sure that these guys are well balanced and I'm on it. can overlap their responsibilities. On it. So, Got it. Um, okay, so keeping the rifles as is. Maybe switch their ammunition. Yeah, we'll have to do that. Um, okay, we can use another one. Two of them will be good. Slap charges? Nah, let's. Another wall charge, perhaps. But we need a camera, so let's get a camera on board. Yeah, I'll leave it. Mm -mm -mm. Doing that. We don't need anything there. Okay. <sighs> All right. That looks about right. This is going to be my first attempt. I'm going to be going in through here, but first going to clear this whole courtyard area, especially that little shack right there that's just keeping kind of a thorn on our side. And up here, I'm going to exploit the glass windows and the doors to gain eyes on to clear that room. But once we're there, at that corner, we're going to put a support and the marksman clear that room and that room and that room. And so that room, right? And then not that one. That one. Yeah, let's clear that one. Um, once those are cleared, then I'm going to move up my sniper or my marksman and my support to put them in this corner. And then they can continue on with the other two. Mm, so they can hold a little bit of the coverage long ways. As well as um, aid in any of the, um, the room clearance right there. There's a window there I'm not too fond of. And then those two rooms that are connected. So we have to clear those out. Uh, moving on to the east. The east wing. They're going to be coming in. Keeping an eye on those two windows there. But we want to put a camera there as well. So that we can gain access. We might use those windows by the curtains up there. But we don't know yet. But that camera is definitely going to let us know what's on that other room. Across that little courtyard area. We definitely want to keep an eye on this because as we're traveling, we might get ambushed. So we'll set up a, 
some pies right there. <laughs> uh, once that room's been kind of cleared out, we're then going to move into that tubular room, keep an eye on the little corridor up there outside of the walls, and then making our way in here to then help in clearing out that long, just long stretch of ambush because uh, the windows to the south are a big concern. There's a lot of peeking that, that can go on from the outside in, so I want to get those windows taken care of if the main unit force can, um, can't take care of it themselves. So, and then we can isolate that area and then secure it. Whew. And then we're going to secure that room. We're going to own it and place our support gunner and our sniper by those couches. Two of the assaults are going to go back with the suppressed uh, element that came from the east. And going to start clearing out this big space right there. Um, so some flashbangs are in order. There's a lot of like broken up pathways. So it's kind of cause for concern. Uh, but once we got that banged up and taken care of, we're going to go then and kind of rendezvous with, you know, eyes only or in our sights with the support and the uh, marksman. And once that's there, then it's just the main force there just making, making the rounds. So it's a long one. I don't pretend it's not. We've been doing almost 10 minutes worth of planning. So, yeah. They're here! Alpha, go. Alpha, go. Time to say goodbye. You're safe now. Thank you. You're safe now. You're safe now. Thank you. You're safe now. Thank you.